Blessings, beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. I hope all is well. How y'all doing? It's been a been a little minute since I dropped the video. Um, and so I wanted to come on. Um, I, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like May has been a, it has been literally mayhem. That That's the word that just kind of came to my mind, mayhem. So, so much, so many spiritual attacks um, has, has been going on. And um, yeah, like still fighting, still fighting a good fight of faith. And um, because it's been going on, I found myself in the word and in prayer a lot and it shouldn't just be because of I'm, I'm learning it's not just because you're going through you pray it should be when it's good and when it's bad but i'm in hebrews 4 um and the other day i was now we're gonna be honest um i, I like to keep it honest all the time but watching this tv show i was watching bridger time um i love i love love shows and love flicks and so Watching it, uh, season three, I am not promoting it. So, um, but watching it and as I'm watching it, like lust, these lustful thoughts began to fill my, my, my mind. And normally when I'm watching shows, I'm able to just, I just change it. Like, ah, I just gonna fast forward through it. But this time... The thoughts were just all these thoughts, all these thoughts. And so the Lord began to talk to me about it. And we be we began to dialogue about it. And I feel like I've had lustful thoughts before, but this was a little bit different. It it was it was as if I could see my weaknesses, how weak and frail I am apart from him. And in that moment, I'm, I'm telling God and I'm like literally as in a couple of days later, I'm talking to God about it and the, the thoughts that were happening and the feelings, um, the things that I was feeling in that moment. And I just began to cry to God. And I, I thought like like Paul when Paul said, who can save me from this body of death? Uh, thanks be to God um, who gives us strength and gives us an ability beyond our ability Um and I want to I want to read that because I, I want to make sure I quote that. Um, we want to quote that right. Um, but I was thinking like Paul, Romans 7, 24 and 25, it says, what a wretched man I am. And this is the NIV. It says, who will rescue me? from this body that is subject to death. Thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then I myself in my mind am a slave to God's law, but in my sinful nature, a slave to the law of sin. And in that moment, I feel like that scripture became so real because I realized it's not in me. Like as, as good as I, I try to be and, and I, in keeping myself in abstaining um, and, and just, you know, trying to do the right thing. I find that there is something working in me that has a desire beyond my, my, my spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak. My flesh has a desire for something. And I saw in that moment how important it is to surrender it to God. And so you're probably thinking, why are you doing this video? Like, what, what, what you talking about? I know there are some people who are probably going to watch this and may be struggling. It may not be sexual immorality. It may be deceitfulness, manipulation. It may be this, um, you backbite it. It may be homose whatever, homosexuality, whatever it may be that you're struggling with. Um, I found this scripture that I believe is going to help us in that struggle. And then also I want to add that it's not in us to do this alone. This, this is a partnership with Holy Spirit. And he wants to show you and show us, because he showed me in that moment, 
that I have a strength beyond your strength. When you feel weak and you feel like you want to give in to this thing, I can help you to overcome. And so Hebrews 4 and 14, I'm reading from the Amplified Version. It says, Inasmuch then as we believers have a great high priest who has already ascended and passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession of faith and cling uh, uh treacherously to our absolute trust in him as savior for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize and understand our weakness and temptations i found in that moment that as i began to confess because it says hold fast your confession i began to confess Lord, this is what I was thinking in that moment. This is, man, I just, I, I wanted that. I I wanted to do that. That he didn't go, okay, mm-mm, no, nah, no, nah, don't talk to me about that. But he, it was like he got down in that thing with me. And he began to reveal to me that I got you. You ain't alone. I, I won't leave you nor forsake you, but I'm with you. And that I understand that this is what you're dealing with, but I'm going to show you how to overcome it. I'm going to show you how you don't have to deal. And so I want to speak to those who may be struggling with, with whatever they're struggling with. You don't have a high priest or a father or a friend or a God who does not, who is not willing to sympathize with what you're going through. Just go to him and talk to him about whatever struggles you're struggling with because he wants to help you and provide you a way of escape. I'm going to finish this scripture out. But one who has been tempted knowing exactly how it feels to be human in every respect as we are, yet without sin. And so because he didn't commit sin, because he was sinless, he was acquainted with everything that we would go through, but he knows how to overcome the things that we continually to fight against, continually to fail, to continue to be subjected to. And so I wanted to tell y'all and, and let you know that you are not alone. Some of us feel like, man, I'm alone. It's just me. It's just me against the world. Like, no, it's you and God. God wants to walk and fight this fight with you. He does not want you out here fighting alone. And how do you fight with God? It's so simple. Confess. Confess. He got you. Confess what you're struggling with, what you're going through. Listen, I this week, I man, and I had to confess like, Lord, yeah, I missed it there. I missed it. And he helped me, gave me the remedy on what to do and what to say to help me to overcome. And so if you're struggling in this season with something that you just feel like you can't overcome, take it to God. I want to pray for those who may be struggling. So, Father God, I lift up anyone under the sound of my voice asking for the peace, the mercy, the grace of God to reign. God, I pray that you would have your way in and through the person who is watching who may be struggling whether it be sexual immorality, whether it be deceitfulness, manipulation, whether it be a bad attitude, whatever it is, greed, whatever they're struggling with in this season, God, I, provide, I pray that you provide them a way of escape practically. Speak to their hearts on how to overcome the things that they have been uh, defeated by or been wrestling with year after year. Show them how to prevail and how to win. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, I pray. I thank you, Lord. Amen. Listen, thank y'all for, for checking me out. I promise we're going we gonna to do some more teaching, some more longer videos and not the shorts. Um, it's needed. We just need him. Listen, we can't, we can't do this fight on our own. We need God in order to make it. Be blessed. I hope y'all have a great day. Thank y'all for checking me out.